Welcome fellow chemists, my name is Autumn and I'm Maria. and today we'll be demonstrating and explaining the principles of a double displacement reaction. So what is a double displacement reaction? We start by explaining what a reaction is. It is a process that leads to the transformation of one set of chemical substances to another. If you didn't understand that, then just rewind the video. A double displacement reaction is a chemical reaction between two compounds where the positive ion of one compound is exchanged with the positive ion of another compound. Alright, my name is Adam. Today the type of double displacement reaction we will be looking at is the interaction of baking soda with vinegar. This reaction forms a neutralization reaction. Uh, Jesse, how did you forget the money in the trunk and let the car get towed? You expect me to respect you when you can't even follow rudimentary instructions? Whatever, man. Why are you smoking? You've been eating these all day? You're back. Actually, pretty good. Here you go, guys. You need more than I do. Hey. Yo, yo! What are you doing? That's our whole batch for today! Okay. <coughs> Oh, hey, dudes. Can't say that on camera? No, no you can't say dudes on camera. This is for like an educational purpose video. Why are you going to say that on camera? Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoy the first video. And now, we're going to get to the experiment part. So, our experiment is going to consist of baking soda and vinegar, which is a double displacement reaction followed by a decomposition reaction. So, first, we're going to measure out how much baking soda we need. We're going to get roughly about... 10, five to ten, 10 grams. Five grams. That's two. Five grams, I think. Yeah, let's do five grams. And that's a bit too much. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever amount is good, as long as it's don't about make too four much, grams. otherwise you're gonna make a big explosion, and that's yeah. not good. Okay, so we have 7.1 grams, and now well, Dimitri here, do. I mean Adam here, sorry, is gonna measure out 50 to 100, 50 to 100 milliliters of vinegar. Great value or law laws, wherever you buy it from. So you're gonna pour in about a hundred milliliters. So that is done. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the baking soda and you're gonna get a partner to hold the balloon open and you're gonna put the balloon, the baking soda in the balloon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this baking soda into the balloon that Jesse here is holding. Make sure not to spill anything because we're going to make a bit of a mess. There you go, that's about it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place this balloon on the lip of the flask. Make sure you don't pour the baking soda in yet. Now that we have this balloon secured, we're going to let the baking soda fall into the vinegar. And absorb what happens. As you can see, the carbon dioxide gas is rising when it was formed, and it is filling up our balloon. And there you have it, our double displacement reaction. Baking soda and vinegar, everybody. Don't you think it's cool? You don't need to waste your energy anymore. Just get some baking soda and vinegar and some science experiment thingies. And there you go. Also, what's really cool about this is all the baking soda, if you did not put too much in regards to how much vinegar you put, it should be about all dissolved into that vinegar. And there you have it, our double displacement reaction, followed by a decomposition. Yes, and don't forget, today's mold day. So wish all your fellow chemists happy mold day. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very educational for you guys. Just their part, just... Don't tell anybody. We'll come after you. And then you can just be like that? No, we're just staying in the frame. When you're in, you're like, hey, I'm Adam. And, uh, okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> Guys, we're recording, please. <laughs> Quiet. This is on? Yeah, I so My name is Adam. Today, the type of double displacement reaction will Okay, be cut, so that again. <laughs> and that's your reaction there. So this is a neutralization reaction, mm -hmm. basically. That's all it does, miss. That's all wow. it does. Oh, our experiment's <laughs> kind of boring. We gotta find a new experiment, man. 
This thing's kind of boring. <laughs> we're like, we're waiting for um, some, something. If 